morning you guys. Today's Tuesday and we're in Barcelona, so the first day. And I'm gonna go meet my parents in a minute because they've already left me. I was still doing my makeup obviously. Um, I shared a my room, well not my room, my parents. So my dad slept in my room, I slept with my mom in this room with two single beds. So I'm gonna go meet them in a minute. And today I'm getting a new room, like my parents, with a balcony. That's right here, I don't know if you see it. Because mine was like a little claustrophobic window that couldn't even open, there was no balcony, it was awful. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this dress from Zara. Zara. And these shoes from Zara, Zara Basic it's called. So this is what I'm wearing for Barcelona today. And I'll get back to you guys. We're on a boat right now through Barcelona River. And uh, this is the view, guys. We're now walking to the W Hotel and we're gonna have lunch there. Here, the W Hotel. So we're outside the W Hotel, it's part of the W Hotel, this restaurant, and it's called Pez Vela. And here is my mojito with water, and yeah, we're just having a view of here. And there's the W Hotel, so it's part of it, we're just a minute. Here's tomato bread, and we're also going to get a paella. Here we have a massive paella which we're all gonna share. As you can see I'm a bit sunburned. My dad and I went to Starbucks and I got another drink. But the guy couldn't spell my name so he asked me to write myself and my handwriting is like shit. So that's why I'll ask. I always ask them to write it because I hate my handwriting but anyway, embarrassing. Um, I have good news. I got my own bedroom now but we're leaving tomorrow so it's kind of no point. But I'm just happy because there's enough light in here. Even you can even see me now, like before you couldn't. And I'm sunburned. Great. Um, so I'll show you my room right now, the third time round of a room. So here we go. Right. So here we have the wardrobe, and here we have the door, and a suitcase. I had to change all my stuff. The TV's on. We have a desk. My Starbucks. And a balcony, I actually have a balcony, I'll show you in a minute. And this is my bed with all rubbish, don't look at that. Sorry, I'm a messy girl. And then we have the bathroom, hey, we have this shower. I'll tell you an awkward story from last night with my shower with my mom. We had to share the room, I'll tell you that. So here's the toilet and stuff, big mirror, and I'm not going to touch that thing again, because it will go wrong. Um, there's a suitcase on the floor, let's not trip over that. This is my balcony, my balcony. We have a nice view of people's houses. Let's just hope I don't get locked out of this balcony. In the heat, there's two chairs. And this is the view. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's go back in, because it's too warm outside. Um, there. Right, I'm now gonna tell you the awkward story, which happened yesterday. So, let's, oh shit, I changed channel. I was supposed to put the phone on. There we go. Okay, so yesterday, um, me and my mum shared a room, and my dad slept in the dark, nasty room. Um, but I used their shower, it's different to this shower, it's like all knobs on it. And last night, I was gonna just take a shower, I took my makeup off, you know. And I turned the knob, but um, no hot water came. Well, first of all, all this, you know those like massage things, I don't know, these spray things, they were coming out. Then the feet tap thing came out, and then the shower hardly came out. So it was so slow, and I swear to God, I took a shower for one hour. Normally I take half an hour, 20 minutes, and this was like an hour. So I was still up till 11.30 taking a shower. Okay, it was embarrassing and I went in at 10.30. So anyway, that was embarrassing. And so the hot water hardly came out and it was slow as... So that was embarrassing. So I hardly got any sleep and then in the morning, my eyebrows went wrong. I hate it. Because of the sun, 
They start to bleach and then they become really blonde so it takes harder to fill them in. Every girl fills their eyebrows in, okay? So don't judge. Don't judge. Anyway, now I have this shower and I'm very happy because it only has one knob and you just have to lift that thing up. Then lift this little shitty thing up so that stops doing it. And it comes out the shower, which is much easier. You know, that's handy. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready. Well, I'm not gonna really change, I don't think. Because I'm gonna go for tapas for dinner. And then tomorrow we're off to Clermont Ferrand in Paris, not Paris, France. That's the stopover. And then we're gonna go to Paris, stay one day and one night or two nights. And then we go home. So, because it's 10 hours to Paris, so we're going to split in half, so 5 hours to Clermont-Ferrand. And from there, 5 hours to Paris, because 10 is too much, and I get really agitated in a car. It's so annoying. Um, and then from Paris to home, it's only 4 hours, so, you know, that's quite handy. Um, without traffic, of course, because people will be going home because the school starts soon. I cried. Uh, anyway. So uh, I'm just going to keep this on, I think, you know. Uh, I was going to wear my Brandy Melville white top, but if I'm having tapas and potato bravas and crap, well, crap, food, uh, I don't want to get tomato sauce on white clothing. That's like the worst thing that could happen in your life. Like, worst thing. When you get tomato, like today, I got like a bit of tomato bread or something on my dress, but luckily it's gone. I was freaking out because it's like this color and it's, you see it really clearly. And then people will be like, what the fuck? So, you know, I'm so happy. Um, so I'm just going to keep this on. Don't call me dirty. I'm just saving the washing at home. Well, I don't know. I want to go to Brandy Melva in Barcelona because I went to the one in Valencia, which was huge. But, you know, the one in Amsterdam is too small, especially in the summer. And they always have different stuff in different stores. So I might go to this one if my parents will come with me um so they get quite annoyed when i always want to go to starbucks and brandy melville but you know why not it's like people collecting hard rock t-shirts like you know I mean, why would people want to do that like i collect my starbucks cups you know don't judge me um so yeah i'm now just bullshitting basically so um i'll get back to you guys because this is getting really awkward and bullshit Anyway, um, I'm a bit hyper after coffee, if you haven't noticed. I'm going to go on Instagram and do my things. And I'll get back to you once I'm in the restaurant or when I'm walking over the streets with my burnt face. Bye for now. Well, I'm not leaving, but you know. I've just been to Brandy Malvo. And I bought some things. And there were two hot guys working behind the till, which was good. Um, we're gonna have dinner soon and I'm still burnt, so you know. So we're in Tapas 24 right now and this is where it is for all you kids who want to come here. Uh, it's made mostly tapas, that's why it's called Tapas 24. And I think we're gonna order something and now we're gonna order stuff. We have cream king crab and avocado. Yeah. Thing, salad, you know, China, tomato bread, and Iberian ham. And I must say, Tapas 24 is so good because I came here in October and it's good. Here we have potato brava. This is gazpacho, but it's peach instead of tomato. This is a special dish from Tapas 24. It's called bikini, so it's supposed to look like a bikini.